Hey, hey friends, it's Corey from Hey Let's Make Stuff here with Angie from Angie Holden Makes and today we are doing a basic overview of how to use adhesive vinyl. We're here at Heat Transfer Warehouse and we're using a variety of blanks just so you can get the basics of using this material. And hopefully you'll find some tips and tricks in this video no matter if you're just getting started with adhesive vinyl or you've been using it a while. So we want to start weeding? <laughs> yeah, we've okay. got to do a lot of weeding <laughs> <laughs> to start. <laughs> So all of our vinyl's been cut and you would just cut it with whatever cutting machine you have. Um, and this is all Oracal um, vinyl. And for something like tumblers, you would wanna use a permanent vinyl, which means that it's permanent. <laughs> so it's not gonna go right. anywhere. Now I have 600 scales to weed. <laughs> For this mermaid I, picked, I thought I picked the easier one, but these lines are a little thin, so we'll see. <laughs> see <how it> goes. <laughs> I'm going to be wrapping this mermaid um, vinyl around this tumbler to create sort of a mermaid scale effect. And so Let's for see. those of you that don't know, weeding is like basically removing anything you don't want adhered to the cup. So things like around the outside of the design, centers of letters, that type of thing. Can you do it using a weeding hook or a um, what are they, a needle weeding tool, pen. weeding pin. Um, it's total preference. Yeah, so this is sort of like a dental hook. You pull, you, you know, stab it into the edge of the vinyl and pull it up. I like to use my finger to collect excess vinyl. Works pretty easily. So if you don't want to use your finger, another tip is to use like, I have a big scrap piece here. Yep. And you can put it on the table, adhesive side up. And then as you have scraps, you can just stick them to it. Yeah. So like I have the centers of these letters and I can just stick it to a sticky area in my big piece. And then there are fancy gadgets for weeding and I tend not to use those. Yeah, I don't have a lot I'm of just fancy, very basic. fancy weeding gadgets. Um, I do like the little, um, I don't know, the weeding scrap collector as well. It's like a yeah, little sometimes. suction cupped thing that I use sometimes, especially if I have like lots of really little things that are hard to get off my weeding hook. I'll yeah. Use that. And then there are methods out there. You can watch TikTok, but there are methods <laughs> where they just kind of rip it. Um, I am too scared to use those most of the time. I do not use those methods. <laughs> I'm sure they work sometimes, but... I very carefully <laughs> remove mine and make sure that each piece is coming off. <laughs> I've got a lot of scales here. <laughs> Well, I'm on my weeding the vinyl for my second cut, so you know, I can start doing. <laughs> if we've been if we've been having a race today about weeding, you, I won the other ones, but this one's all you. <laughs> and then we just have a variety of designs, but you can definitely use any design that you would like. Fonts are fun, um, and you can purchase designs, make your own designs, whatever. I find that sometimes people don't understand too that. You may have an SVG file that you've uploaded to your cutting machine software, and let's say the SVG file is sort of a teal color, um, but you can cut that in any color vinyl that you want. You don't have to always stick with the colors that the SVG is made of, which is really nice. And I was gonna give a tip, so like, I have a lot of sticky part here, and I wanna weed this, and it's get the way. You can like just cut that part away. Yeah, I do that a lot. Yeah, I do that all the time, because it's just, there's too much sticky. Adhesive vinyl itself, it's basically like a giant sticker. So with heat transfer vinyl, it has an adhesive, but it's activated by heat. Um, you'd use that on garments and some other materials. Um, whereas adhesive vinyl, which is what we're using today, is basically a big sticker. So it's sticky on one side. The carrier sheet itself though, not sticky. Um, so you can basically weed out what you don't want and then use it like a giant sticker. And we're gonna be using transfer tape today to transfer our designs from the backing paper onto our blanks, but we'll get to that step here in a little bit. <laughs> and by a little bit, I mean maybe three or four hours <laughs> once I'm done weeding all of these mermaid scales. Yeah, so I'm, I was pretty fast on some of the designs and then I'm getting to ones with thin lines, so I'm a little slower. So yeah. if you are designing, and want an easy weeding job, especially for a beginner, stick with like a chunkier font, chunkier design, um, and that way you'll have less trouble. I feel like the thinner the, the, thinner the design, it's harder to weed, and yeah. it's not for the faint of heart or the beginner. <laughs> I, I agree. You can also look up, there's a technique called reverse weeding. So if you do have small designs with thin letters, reverse weeding is a good technique. Um, it's where you actually start with the transfer tape, you put it on the entire design, and then you actually peel back what you don't want from the transfer tape instead of trying to peel back what you don't want from the carrier sheet. 
um, which can make it a little bit easier, especially for just those really small, thin designs. I can literally never get reverse weeding to work, so. <gasps> really? I can oh. <laughs> never. So unless you're Angie Holden. <laughs> unless you're me. Another tip I have is do this in better lighting than you might in a YouTube studio. <laughs> you can use a, a light box if you have one. Um, I have a Cricut Bright Pad, is that what it's called? Yeah, light box is nice. Um, but you can get any kind of light box on Amazon. Um, it just can help you see the edges, especially with, if you're using a specialty adhesive vinyl glitter that sort of thing yeah glitter is also not for beginners <laughs> glitter is not for beginners it's so hard to see the, the cut lines on that adhesive vinyl sticks best to non-porous surfaces <laughs> so like we have this license plate here we've got a whole bunch of drinkware um, it's a little bit more difficult on things like wood which are porous so it doesn't get that really good stick um, for that, I tend to use HTV. And while I'm weeding, Angie is gonna go ahead and start actually putting the design on our tumblers. We're gonna do, hopefully, an easy one first. <laughs> so easiest would be single color, single layer. So one color, one layer, one piece. Um, and the next thing you're gonna need is transfer tape. So transfer tape is basically tape on a big <laughs> roll. Um, and you want, you, first of all, you can cut it to the size of your design. However, you can reuse transfer tape. It is not a single use product. So if you have several tumblers, I would cut it to the largest. Like if I was gonna make six today, I would probably cut it to the largest design I had so I could try to reuse as much as possible. Um, so you just peel the transfer tape off the backing paper here. And this is Caesar Transfer Tape has convenient grid lines so you can get everything straight. I can never get that on there straight, ever. <laughs> My grid lines are always... <laughs> I like the grid lines. I mean, I, I like really the do. idea of the grid lines. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just apparently useless at it. <laughs> and then you just stick this to the vinyl and you just put it over the top. And then you have something called a scraper and this can come in a variety of sizes, shapes, different things. and Burnish is the next one. Yes, burnish. <laughs> Front and back and a lot would be my <laughs> top recommendations. And then you want to peel the transfer tape yep. back. And the goal is that the vinyl comes with the tape. And basically what this does is make sure that all of those little bitty pieces that you cut stay all together. So in this example, and I'm just peeling this back, I have like the name Sydney in the middle, each individual letter, but they all stayed together, right? So I don't have to worry about placing them. And which tumbler is this gonna look good on? What do we got here? So I, I also have this design. Do you think this would be best on this one? Yeah. Okay, so we're gonna do this black design on this pink Stanley dupe here. Okay, so now the biggest question of all, left or right? So the question is, do you want to see it when you're when you're drinking from your tumbler, right? Let's see, actually, here's, which way does the straw go? Oh, it goes this way. Yeah, so this is the straw. So do you want to see it when you're drinking from the tumbler? Or do you want everybody else to see it when you're yeah. drinking from the tumbler? Or you want to put a design on both sides, sides. so That's that it looks good from both sides. So that biggest question of all is like, which <laughs> side are you going to put it on? So I like to see the pretty. So the straw is on this side. I'm going to put it on the straw side. <laughs> The lid can probably screw it in the other way and you can make it go the other way too. Yeah, probably. <laughs> All right, so now just locating it, um, a couple tips, you can kind of hold it where it's like a taco and then the middle and then you can put the middle just to where the surface you want to do it on. And you do want the surface to be clean. A lot of times I use rubbing alcohol, yep. rub it down, lint-free cloth, allow that to dry. Just like grease from your hands can prevent the vinyl from adhering well. And then you just want to locate it where you want it. And you want to locate it where you want it. We're not going to move this after we put it down. <laughs> so we're going to hope Angie got this straight. It's always if harder Angie with like a, a round, like a design that is <laughs> rounded, right? It's yes. a lot easier to get a square design straight. And a lot of times stand it up and look at it. Yeah. It's my like go-to. Another thing that you guys can Google <laughs> or look on TikTok is to use the parchment paper method. I, it's a method that I really like. You basically have a piece of parchment under most of your design, and then you can just stick down just a little corner of it. Once you have it in the right area, pull out the parchment paper and finish putting it on. And then it's burnish again. 
and then peel the transfer tape back. This time your goal is that the vinyl stays on your surface and you're just peeling this back. Helps if you peel it back like yes, back along like, itself versus up. Yes, at a very extreme angle. And then the most important part in my opinion, burnish it down, like make sure everything's down and wait 72 hours before you use it. Like that is like, yeah. <laughs> the number one thing I find people do not do. And then they say, that vinyl did not work and it came off the first time I used it. 72 hours. Don't touch this for 72 hours. It basically needs time to for the adhesive yes. to really. Yes. And you, you can also push it down with your fingers if you're worried about it. Yeah. That All right. Really cute. So now what's next? Uh, I'm working on the mermaid hair. Don't care. First I cut a piece of transfer okay. tape that was too small, but we can use it for the license plate. <laughs> every time. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna do this mermaid um, can cooler next. One trick for getting the um, transfer tape off the sheet is to use your weeding hook. Just peel it up in the corner, because sometimes it can be really difficult to peel up that if you're just trying to use your thumb. Peel it up. <laughs> Drop it. Make problem. <laughs> Um, again, Angie showed you that taco method. It also works really well for tr getting transfer tape on. So I kind of put it in the middle here, smooth it out to one side, and smooth it out to the other. Grab your scraper and burnish. I always do that too. I don't know if anybody else does that. You do this and then you go whoop and slide. Oh no! <laughs> no! So you burnish it and then you can use your scraper to scrape under, burnish the back, and then peel back that carrier sheet. And I understand if you have issues with transfer tape, a lot of people are like, my vinyl's not sticking to my transfer tape. That's especially true if you're using something like glitter. Go slow <laughs> if it's not sticking very well. All right, so I'm gonna try and add this to this. This is, normally I would use the parchment paper trick, which you can definitely TikTok Google. It would work really well for a project like this. I don't have any parchment paper. So I'm going to trim along the top edge so that I have a straight edge to line up my design here. So now I'm going to very carefully try and align this along the top here. You wanna hold my... Let's... Um... Another trick is to get a tumbler cradle. <laughs> oh, here, actually. Let's make our own. There you go. Here's so, another trick. You can use this as a tumbler cradle. <laughs> and now it won't roll. Now it's not going to roll. All right, so I've got to get kind of on top of it here. And we're just going to line this top edge up. Can you press down in the middle just to make it stick in the middle? Thank you. And then I'm going to go one side at a time. So I'm going to kind of roll it this way. And actually, you hold there. Hold this one over here. This yep. is apparently a two person job. <laughs> Grab someone and touch your hands. Grab, grab a friend. There we go. And roll. I could have probably done this myself, but why do it myself when I have an Angie? Crafting is better with friends. Crafting is better with friends. <laughs> and then you want to burnish it. It's really hard to use a scraper on something round, so a lot of times I just use my thumbs like that. All right, let's see be burnished more here. Yeah, maybe on the transfer tape on the edge. Oh yeah, okay, we're coming. You want me to burnish that one down and you can like put transfer tape on their sure. words. So I'm just gonna work around this so we can add some words so to the top. So one option for like layering vinyl would be to do this. So put one layer on and then put another layer on. We're gonna show some other methods as well. Again, I like to use my weeding hook to pick up the transfer tape, burnish here. It says mermaid hair, don't care. Get in there, there we go. All right. I'd say right there. Right there? Yeah. Peel back. Here, I'm gonna get your cup cradle again. I like it. <laughs> All right, we're gonna put mermaid hair, don't care. Just straight on there, just like that. Again, burnish it down with your thumbs and then peel back the transfer tape. That worked. Done. We're One there. layer. Don't care. <laughs> <laughs> this version, I already have it on the transfer tape just like before. However, we're going to talk a little bit about a location method. So this is the wet method for vinyl application, and you can use it on any kind of hard surface. Vinyl can be hard to locate, right? It's sticky. You stick it down. You can't move it. 
but with water, you can move it. So all you need is just a spray bottle, some water, a little dish soap might make it, like one drop of dish soap, literally, might make it move a little more, but you don't have to have that at all. And so I just wet the tumbler itself. You can also spray a little bit on the back of the vinyl. So you just want it like a little bit damp, just a mist. And now I can just kind of move this around. So it's not sticking to anything and I can move it around and I can kind of eyeball it, right? So I don't, I can put it on here, move it. And so yep. I'm doing to it's go really, ahead. I was gonna say it's really helpful with round designs because I feel like it's yeah. really difficult to get in particular round designs <laughs> to be straight. Yes. Um, and so, but it just allows you to pick it back up. And it, once it's done, it will stick just as well as it will. Um, you would if you didn't use the water. So I'm gonna just move this round, adjust it however you want. And then when it's on there, and this is what, like um, if they're gonna wrap a car or something like that, this is the method they use. So it's like a proven method for vinyl application. Um, and now just like some paper towels. And you're just kind of like squeezing the water out. And it will take a little longer. Like I won't be able to peel this transfer tape back for a few minutes because the water's under there. We didn't use that much. It's gonna evaporate pretty quickly. And you can use any kind of scraper and just kind of push the water out to like speed that up. So you're just kind of pushing it out the sides. And while we're waiting on this to dry a little bit, we have got an adhesive rhinestone sheet. So we have, we're gonna combine that a little bit with the vinyl. So this is another plain design, but we wanna bling it up a little bit. <laughs> we're gonna cut this adhesive sheet. Scissors. Scissors. And we're gonna kinda add an adhesive rhinestone. It's maybe on the top and bottom. Yeah, so maybe sure. like three. All right, so I'm gonna take the, the front sheet off. I don't want to take the whole thing off, but can hold it back for me. Yeah. Crafting is better with friends. It is. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm cutting four, uh, four like layers of rhinestones, four rows. So this is much easier than blinging. Have you seen bling cuts? <laughs> and they're, you, most people place each individual stone. No, we're going to do this in a sheet. <laughs> this is the lazy way, but it works really yes. well. Here we go. And so now we have basically an adhesive strip of rhinestones and I'm going to put the where it's going to like meet in the back just because I like the look of that. And now it's just up to me to get this straight. So I'm going to go all the way around the top. <laughs> Want me to cut you another one for the yeah, bottom? Yeah, let's try the bottom too. Extra bling. Extra bling. You stay over there, Mr. Bling. And then once, once I reach where it is in the back. I knew I just, it was almost perfect, but I have to cut off like three stones. So I'm just gonna scrap those. And I'm just gonna cut off these very few. How many did you cut off? I'll cut them off of this one. Four. Four, all right. Cut four off this guy too. Ooh, sparkly. <laughs> one, two, three, four. I feel like this would be like super cute for like bridesmaids. Super cute. Will you be my bridesmaid and have a coffee with me? And look, the bottom must, it must be slightly <laughs> tapered. Okay. Cute. All right, bling around the top and the bottom. And now we should be basically dry enough to peel this up, we'll hope. Yep. So you, then you just peel the transfer tape back. You may still see like a little moisture and it's fine. And that's it. And you can just dry up anything that's left, burnish it down once again, again, wait 72 hours before use. That's a good way to locate your designs. Great idea. All right, so for this next design, which is gonna go on this big Stanley dupe, I have Howdy three times, and I could use an individual piece of transfer tape for each of these, or I can use a single piece of transfer tape. So we're gonna go ahead and use the single piece of transfer tape method. So I cut one, you know, large enough for my design. It's actually probably a little too large, but I'm gonna go with it. And what order do we think these should go in? Howdy, howdy, howdy? Sure. All right, <laughs> so we're gonna take our first howdy here and we're gonna put our transfer tape on. Oh, I have burnished. All of the tools over here. What? Sorry, it's the thief. <laughs> we're gonna burnish that on here. Peel back that carrier sheet, just like that. 
And then instead of putting this directly on the mug, we're gonna go ahead and choose our second one here. We're gonna put it right below it, trying to line it up just like that. So you can see here that I've got the second one on there. Go ahead and burnish that one. You don't want to like hit the, the vinyl that you have on there, you know, too hard with the tool or stick it to the table because sometimes it's another not that we've done that. Not that I've done that a hundred times, but now I often will have that parchment paper out <laughs> so that I'll do this on top of the parchment paper so it doesn't stick. Oh, why? Why are you not sticking? <laughs> why? There we go. I like I'm just throwing my trash at you. <laughs> All right, and then we have our, so now we have two on the same piece of transfer tape. And go here to the third. And we're gonna try and make it match up to the last one. Oop, see how it almost stuck to the table? Very careful. And put it on the edge of the table here so I'm not gonna accidentally stick it to the table. And then peel that one up. All right, so I have all three pieces of my howdy, howdy, howdy on one single piece of transfer tape. And again, you can choose your side or you can make two and print them on both sides or put them on both sides. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and align it here. Let me take my little tumbler cradle. Will it work with this big guy? It will not, no. <laughs> All right. We're just gonna put it on there. We're gonna pray that it's straight. <laughs> okay, that's where it goes. <laughs> straight enough. Stra Actually, it's pretty straight. Yeah. It's like medium straight. <laughs> this is why I really do often prefer that parchment paper trick or the wet method. Because sometimes it's just really hard to get it straight. Howdy, howdy, howdy. <laughs> okay, so last project, I think, um, license plate. And I'm gonna use that same method where I'm gonna put all these on one, but we're gonna do a little hinge action. So I'm gonna save the backing okay, paper. Um, it's the first step of this. And I'm gonna start with our names, huh? This is for our, our co-branded car. This our is, yeah, <laughs> yeah, this is for the car. We're gonna like travel the, United States and Angie and Corey show. <laughs> we should make the Angie and Corey show. <laughs> should be our next collaboration. Trademark that. All right. It's mostly where we mess up crafts. So, and throw yeah. trash at each other. <laughs> so first layer. And we're gonna hope I get this right and it fits on this license plate. Okay. Add another layer. So whereas I had all of my pieces stacked, she's doing like layered this way. Yeah. So, so basically the first layer I started with what needs to be in the middle. Or what needs to be on top. Or what needs to be on top if you were doing a layered design that had a top. Um, but kind of personal preference. So then I have two of those together and I can add a third. Burnish that down. I you should be a Volkswagen okay. bus with this license plate. <laughs> Look. All right, so I have three layers, all one piece of transfer tape. I'm gonna take the backing paper, I'm gonna put this back on the backing paper. So this is another just kind of location method. Um, so if you struggle with location, so now it's on the backing paper and I have my license plate and some tape. So I'm just gonna kind of eyeball, like where do I want it on the license plate? It's... <laughs> and I just remembered before she does the tape, I forgot that this has a liner on it. So another way to do that is to peel it up with a weeding hook. You can do it with your fingernail. You don't want to scratch, you know, whatever you're peeling it up from, but if you don't peel up the plastic liner, then one, your license plate doesn't look as good. And two, your yeah, vinyl won't stick. Your vinyl, won't, so your vinyl <laughs> will stick to the plastic and not to the actual license plate. All right, so vinyl kind of located. It's not sticky. I have the backing paper on. And then a piece of tape, any tape, like masking tape, painter's tape, whatever, and put it in the middle. 
And then you wanna burnish one side. Flip it back like a hinge. <laughs> That's hinge why it's called method. a hinge method. And then we're gonna peel the backing back from one side. And then scissors. Cut. It's not an exact science. It does not have to be exact. So I just cut a piece of the backing paper off. And now I only have like one side to worry about. It's in location because it's taped down. So I can just go from the edge, burnish down, and then tape off. Hinge it the other way. Peel back the backing. And go from this direction. This is also really great for large pieces you're worried about bubbles getting underneath yeah, great them. Great for signs. Yep. And then everything burnished well. Peel back the transfer tape like before. And we have a cool license plate for our dual car. It's got to be a VW bus though. So. It's got to be a VW bus. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> <Corey> show. <laughs> So there are a few tips and tricks for using adhesive vinyl on cups, uh, can koozies, license plates, whatever you can use these tips and tricks for. Yeah, you can use these tricks, tips and tricks on basically anything you want to put adhesive vinyl on. There's all sorts of non-porous surfaces that works best, yep. and you can use these methods on pretty much anything. Absolutely.